Number one is a point. We can say two is like a line, but another way to say is give it two points because two points determine a line. You can also think of the binary thing, two binary. Uh, but the line really involves a threeness, so that's a little dangerous because the line is not only the two points but something in between. <laughs> And in fact, it's that force between the two elements, the two particles, the Adam and Eve, that force is the important thing. Well, then the third, we can say that's three points. Before we said a plane, you see, but a plane is determined by three points. That's the rule for a plane. Uh, that leads then to four points for four. Now, if I join the three points, I get a triangle, which is a plain figure, to be sure. But what happens when I join the four points? Now, of course, I've joined four points, that's a square, but that's not a complete joining. I'd have to join those two points, that's all right, but I can't join those two without crossing over. It's as though, see I have four points here, one, two, three, four, and I can make a diagonal here. I, that, that diagonal would, if, if I made the rule that they have to be the same length, it, it, it makes it happen. The, the uh, rectangle, if joined by an equal line, then it has to stretch out into a diamond. Now two equilateral triangles. But to join this and this, I'd have to bend the thing up a little bit, then hinge these up to make this line equal to that line. So I get into a tetrahedron uh, think of that as a pyramid now. Can you see it as a pyramid? See, I'm representing it in two dimensions, but that's a pyramid and the hidden edge is dotted behind. So I've got from point, line, plane, solid. Can we do that more? Can we go up the other side with that same thing? This will take us into the question of uh, higher dimensions because we've gone from here's no dimension, one dimension, two dimension, three dimensions. So this would be four dimension. 